Hi everyone, Merry Christmas. Today is the last day of Advent of Code 2021. Um, you might see I have my festive gear on right here, the reindeer robe. It's been quite a journey this year. Going through 25 days, lots of challenging puzzles, and lots of fun along the way. I'm sad it's coming to an end, but I'm also glad that it happened. So today I'll be doing Advent of Code 2021, day 25, and then I'll be explaining the puzzles afterwards. So let's get started with the puzzles. All right, time to explain the puzzle. So there is only one puzzle for today, part two you get for free. Uh, today we are dealing with some sea cucumbers at the bottom of the ocean. There are a bunch of sea cucumbers in this uh, square grid. It's probably square. There are south facing cucumbers and east facing cucumbers. Um, they're foraging for food. So they move along in this grid according to their direction and they only move if no other sea cucumbers are in their way. Intuitively, south cucumbers try to move south, so they move down, and east cucumbers try to move east. They give a bunch of examples here. Um, one important thing to note is that the east-facing cucumbers move before the south-facing cucumbers, so they might unblock each other um, at some points, but otherwise they all move simultaneously. So any east cucumbers um, that are blocking each other, they actually don't move all at once, uh, which might be a bit counterintuitive. Only the rightmost uh, east cucumber would move one, so... Um, we use the uh, we use the different grid. We use a different grid to read from as opposed to update. So this is a relatively simple puzzle compared to the last like four or five days. Um, the last four or five days were very hard. Instead, what we can do here is uh, just literally simulate everything. So kind of brute force. There is no neat tricks required. Uh, what we do here is I'm using a grid that keeps track of what um, is at every point. So whether it's a east facing cucumber or a south facing cucumber, sea cucumber, or a blank spot. And I'm, and I'm representing these using characters or strings, which is probably inefficient, but you know, it gives the same result. So um, might as well, right? So I'm using this function to perform a step on the grid. So this is the simultaneous updates. It updates the east cucumbers first and the south cucumbers. First, we make a new grid, which is a copy of the old grid to update into because we don't want to read an update from the same thing again. We also want to keep track of whether any sea cucumber has moved in this step. So we loop through the entire grid. Um, if it's not the type of cucumber that we're looking for, because again, east moves before south, so we need to specify what kind of cucumber is moving right now. If it's not the type we're looking for, then we uh, don't want to consider this cucumber. Otherwise, if it's a south cucumber, we determine its destination coordinates, which um, simply add one to the row and keep the column the same. Again, we want to wrap around to the top. Um, that's specified in the problem. Due to strong sea currents, we want to wrap these around the map. Um, so yeah, we determine the destination location of this cucumber according to whether it is moving east or moving south, and we simply add one to the row or column, accounting for wrapping around. Um, then if its destination spot is empty, then we want to update the new grid to have the cucumber in that spot now, and empty its previous location. After all of those sea cucumbers have been updated, we simply return the new grid along with whether any sea cucumber has moved. Uh, so we use this function to first move all the east-facing cucumbers, and then we move all the south-facing cucumbers, um, just so they can unblock each other if necessary. Then we add one to our step, because this is going to be our answer. Um, then if any, if not any cucumbers have moved, then we can simply break and print our answer. And we are guaranteed that at some point, this process will stop. So yeah, that's pretty much it for part one. And then for part two, uh, we are... Well, we have the keys now, and we simply need to send the signal to the sleigh so Santa can take off. But the problem is we're still deep in the ocean, so we need to boost the signal so it can reach the surface and start the sleigh remotely. Um, the problem is I did not complete day 19 yet, so we do need 50 stars to get the entire story. Uh, last year I did get all of them immediately, but, you know, we're still missing one more. So, day 19 is going to be the last day that I do. In a future video, I will actually solve this problem. This was the beacon orientation one. Lots of people said this was the hardest day yet. I uh, still need to finish this one. Once I finish that, I'll have the full story, and I'll upload that, hopefully, before the new year. So that's it for day 25 of Advent of Code 2021. I'd just like to thank you for joining me on this journey this year. It's been incredible. Lots of fun puzzles. I learned lots of things on the way, and I hope you did too. So. Hopefully you enjoyed day 25. It was a fun puzzle, a good break from the previous day days. 
My code will be in the GitHub repository, which is linked to in the description. If you have any questions or comments about today, feel free to leave it in the description below. I mean, the comment section below. And I'll see you in the future for day 19. Thanks for watching.